Saying here in Montana, if you don't like the weather, stick around. What's the time limit on that one? An hour? 10 minutes? 50 seconds? Stick around. Just stick around. We had, since we were last on air last Monday, we've had fall, winter, summer, and spring again here in Montana. Yesterday, windy. Andy, it was so windy. My house blew away. It did. It just freaking blew away, just like a George Thorogood song. And actually, now, when we went to camera here, uh, it's colder now than when I got drove to the studio. So, I Thanksgiving was nice. Did everybody have a great Thanksgiving? I certainly hope you did. And travels were great. Um, Friday here at Great Falls, it was summer. Um, of course, Andy, and now it's dead winter again. And of course, Thanksgiving kicks off the, the old holiday season. The lifetime, you know, jilted businesswoman, businessman, moves to small town discovers divorced man, woman, with a dog, they find true love, it snows. So we got the holiday movies, the cheesy, crappy, the only one Andy I like is the Grinch. I kind of like Grinch-like. I don't like holidays much. I'm not a big fan of everything between Thanksgiving and New Year's. That whole time period, I'm not a big fan of it. Just don't like it. I'm kind of Grinch-like, and it must stop Christmas from coming. But how? Yeah, that's me. Me, right here. I must stop it. But, you know, in the Grinch's defense... He really didn't hate Christmas, did he? No. He hated the little who's down in freaking Whoville. Little people. Hated people. Not the holidays. And that's understandable, isn't it? Come on. Yeah, I, I'm gonna... Anyone know if I was gonna get on something we've already covered, but we haven't covered, but we have. And, uh... If you watched the, 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 the news last week, uh, we had a shooting in Walmart. Uh, the supervisor legally bought a firearm on his way to work, loaded the gun, went to work, shot six co-workers and himself, seven of total deaths. And that's not even <laughs> that's not even the worst Walmart shooting of all. Do you remember the, what is it, El Paso, Texas, they had 20 killed, 26 injured in a Walmart shooting. Um, we also last week had the bar in uh, Colorado Springs shooting. Not the first at bar shootings either. So um, my question, as most people out there are either pro-Second Amendment or not pro-Second Amendment. And this isn't really a show about that or a conversation about that. My question is, when's enough enough? When are we as a society going to say, all right, time out, come on, man. Come on, man, we can't even go to brunch without someone shooting at us. And I'm, and I'm, I'm true. We've got, I, I googled the last six months. And I went to the Associated Press and, and, and asked them, the top, uh, and a mass shooting is, um, We've had 226, by the way, this year already. Mass shooting is like five or more. Okay, five or more. And what jumped out at me when I compiled some of this list 
is that, is this the price we have to pay for freedom? It's like a war zone, literally. It's like Afghanistan or Pakistan or someone where there's war. Ah, wait. Just kind of let me glaze over something. Road rage. Multiple road rage incidents. Even here in Montana, people get out and shoot people over turn signals. I mean, yeah, okay. I get pretty ticked, too. Do I get jumping out of the car, unloading the 12 gauge on you? No. But some people do. They're shooting in the streets, like people literally walking down the street. Universities. Andy, it was what? University of Virginia? Just the last 10 days? Okay. At McDonald's. At Burger King. At liquor stores. At high schools at junior high schools, at grade schools, at sporting events, at school events and professional and college events. Gang fights, drive-bys, hair salons. I mean, okay, Second Amendment, we got freedom. Rob Elementary, Sandy Hook, elementary. That wasn't enough to get everybody upset. The hair salons, shootings at universities. What kind of, what kind of society, if you tell me we're free, okay, and I've got friends out there that are, that are pro-Second Amendment, pro-guns, and I'm pretty much in the same ballpark. I believe, if you've watched, I believe I should have tanks and F-16s because of all of this stuff going on. But that's what people are saying. They're saying, well, you know, the Second Amendment means everybody's got guns. Everybody does have guns. Well, legally, you know, the, the legal guns, the guy in Walmart last week bought a gun on the way to work. He made the shift on time. He was a little early to catch that one janitor guy. Okay? So, movie theaters. Everywhere. Don't say it doesn't happen in Great Falls. Doesn't, don't say it doesn't happen in Montana. I can pull up headlines from Great Falls, Butte, Helena, Billings, Missoula, Big Fort, Big Fort, Big Fort, holy shnikes, Big Fort, so two people shot, so we, when's it okay to, we, it, we've turned a deaf ear, uh, we've turned a blind eye, it doesn't upset us anymore. It's like, oh, honey, there was another shooting. Oh, Mildred, turn the chill. Okay, so I got to ask the question. When you send your kids to school in the morning, is it okay that if they don't come home? It's just the price for freedom. You're at a gas station. Your wife's at a gas station, she goes in to pay someone that's robbing it, she gets shot, it's okay, it's the price of freedom, everybody's got guns. Drive-bys, you're at Ford's drive-in, drive-by, he's shot in your car waiting for a burger, but that's okay. It doesn't outrage you enough. But don't tell me a guy get Ford's drive-ins like that's the last straw when you ignored Rob Elementary and, and Sandy Hook. It's okay that a guy gets, you know, when are you going to get pissed? When are we going to get pissed as a society and say, look, man, it's not okay. It's not okay. Second Amendment guarantees the right to bear arms. Seems like everybody's got arms. And tell, 
tell me, try to tell me that all these shootings that I just told you, high schools, University of Virginia, McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, they were all illegal firearms. Go ahead and try to tell me that one. Sell me on that. I'll wait. Oh, the guy in Walmart. Yeah, right. The other Walmart shooter where he killed 20 bought the gun in Walmart. But oh shit, Andy! That dude, yeah, Andy just said, "What about thoughts and prayers?" Man, seems certain people that believe certain ways. Whenever there's a mass shooting, they're always like, "Well, we're gonna send thoughts and prayers." Like that really helps a fucking lot. Didn't help Colorado Springs because you had Walmart just the next day. Oh, we're hoping and praying it doesn't happen again. And happened again the next day. So when's enough enough, everybody? Your schools aren't safe. It ain't safe to take. It's not safe to take your family out to dinner. It's not safe to take your family to a movie. It's not, yeah, I'll just pack a gun and that'll be that and I'll protect everybody. Eh, eh, maybe, maybe not. Is that the, you want to get a shootout in a movie theater? Well, I killed them. Yeah, but 14 people died in the crossfire. I don't know. The solution, even here, I got written down. Is there a solution? And then I got, it can't happen here. It does happen here. So, and I beat that home. So, we're okay with it, evidently. We're okay with our five and seven-year-olds getting shot in school. And our wife's getting shot in the freeway. And our husbands and brothers being shot at the mall. We're okay with that, right? That's okay. That's all right. That's the way we live now. That's the society, it, the way it is. And don't even try to tell me that it's just lawless people. I'm not even going to get to the stats of other, like put them in categories like, crime shootings, drive-by shootings, police shootings, all of these there's shootings everywhere. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be the nor no normal. But you know, violence is who we are as a species. We've been at war for one thing or another since records have been kept about what we do. What would that be? Archaeological records, Andy? <laughs> it, 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 it would be war. We, you know, like Genghis Khan and Anthony, uh, da, 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 da. what's a guy with Troy, you know? The people of Troy, you had Rome and, and the Mongol hordes and we've had, God dang, just when we were a country. In the United States, we've had a Revolutionary War, a Civil War, well, the War of 1812, Korea, Vietnam, World War I, World War II, you know, Operation Freedom. I mean, we're at war all the freaking time as a species. We freaking kill everything. And I've talked about that on a different podcast. I, I, we do. We kill everything. Our solution to an animal at large in town that's a wild animal, they will kill it. We have kill shelters all over the goddamn country. People are they just, that's what we do as a species. So it doesn't surprise me that all of, we're all armed and shooting each other now. Okay? It's not okay. It's not the new normal, or it shouldn't be the new normal. Everybody who's a proponent 
of the Second Amendment and his pro-gun rights should come up with a solution so my granddaughter and your granddaughters don't get murdered in their third grade classroom. And don't tell me it can't happen. It can happen. As a species, we're at war. All the time. I have... <laughs> Andy, I have no hope that world destruction is not inevitable. Did I say that right? I believe that we're going to blow... Look how close we are right now. People are shooting each other all over the globe. We lead the nation in, in just shootings. Do you realize what that statistic says? Well, Russia and China don't have all those shootings. Do you want to live in Russia and China? No. But there are countries that have guns that don't have this problem. It shouldn't be the new normal that I worry about. And it's everywhere. Like I said, as a species. We're at war. We're arguing. Molesting. Raping. Robbing. It's what we do as a species. We have no consideration for ourselves. If we don't like something, we wipe it off the face of the earth. Seriously, look how many animal species are gone. It's that time of year where trappers of today, like the trappers, you people that use traps for animals. Now, let me get this straight right now. I am not talking about our heritage or our ancestors or heritage trappers that did things to survive, and that's the way it was back then. I'm talking to tra trappers of today on social media bragging about how they trapped animals, and the animals suffered. I, I got a lot of people on my feed. I got 50,000 followers. People are sharing shit with me all the time. Trappers annoy me. If you're a trapper, you're pretty spineless. We have guns. I just talked the whole bout about guns. Instead of shooting goddamn kids, why don't you go to your skills, trappings, just... And I got, and the trappers on social media are like trapping everything. You know, coyotes, wolves, raccoons, bears, the neighbor's cat, neighbor's dog, and they're laughing about it. Yeah, I just trapped and killed the neighbor's cat. It'll teach them, look, motherfucker. <laughs> you trap my dog, it'll be the last animal you ever trap. You know, and don't give me this, oh, I'm from Montana, you know, I'm a trapper and a rancher. I'm Irish from Detroit. I'll hire it out. I don't like trappers. Never have. Never will. Okay? And I don't like them bragging on Facebook and social media about what badasses they are watching. Guy had an animal trap, and it was, t he said, I just ate lunch before I put it out of his misery just to let him suffer. Those are the kind of people right there that are making your shootings, okay? Okay, if you get pleasure in torturing and hurting animals, then you are a prime candidate of the people that I were just talking about just a few minutes ago. Rob Elementary, Sandy Hook, the Vegas concert, Spock McDonald's, those incidents that I was talking about. You're the kind of people that start wars. What person would get pleasure in watching an animal suffer? Doesn't matter to me what it does. It's a threat to my livestock, so I'm going to let it suffer. Well, painful death, yeah, that'll send the message. The only message it sends is that you're a sick bastard, and you shouldn't own a firearm. Tell you, Andy, my dandruff is like up. I know, I know it, I know. I just, I just can't tolerate this man's 
inhumane treatment of everything, including each other. That's what the thing is. You know, the people that are bragging on Facebook are the same people that are shooting up places. Same ones. Look, we'll have got some bust in here like, yeah, that did. They don't talk it out anymore. They just go crazy. So I think that's, I, the question is, and the question will still be, when is enough as in, when is enough enough, Society of America? When do we say, look, I don't need to worry about wars. I don't need to worry about, you know, the man who's humanity to man. We should just, guys shooting each other on the expressway going to work. Something's wrong, people. We got to figure out a solution. I don't have one. I wrote notes back here, Andy, and they're like, what do we do? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. All I'm afraid of, all I know is that I don't want any of my family or any of my friends' family getting shot today because they were downtown shopping or at the mall or at a movie or at a bar or at Walmart. Yeah. So when's enough enough? I'd love to know your ideas and suggestions and comments, but when's enough enough? When's the red line for you all? Evidently elementary and high schools is not the red line. Churches, none of that's a red line for everybody yet. I'm just wondering what is. Andy, do you hear the rioting in, in uh, China? I wonder what a riot looks like in China. <laughs> President Xi is on the ropes. Yeah. Who wrote that on the board? On the ropes? Yeah. He's doing the rope of dope is what he's doing. But there's protest in China because of Aromacon virus 18J9 or something is now loose because they we're having brunch. Let's go to brunch at a Chinese market. And boom, there you go. Aromacon 19J9 or Locked down China, everybody's protesting, marching in the streets. I'm not thinking that would be a good idea to march in the streets of China. Okay? Kim Jong. Kim Jong's sister. You seen her? Is she a lucker, Andy? <laughs> she's threatening to blow everybody up, but, you know, she's throwing around threats. Putin. What is Putin doing? Oh, Putin has declared war, the winter war on Ukraine. They call it the winter war because he's now targeting uh, uh, water supplies, heat supplies, electrical supplies, hospitals, schools, churches, and families. And so still the, the world still gets, that's okay, too. That's amazing to me. So let me get this right this morning, Andy. We got... School shootings are okay. Shootings in general all over the country are, are okay. We, it's not a red line yet. Everybody just, oh yeah, there's another uh, shooting in Iowa. Okay, let's have brunch. You know, everything's okay. And Putin's, he, he just targets civilian, and that's okay. I think I got this figured out, man. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. On Monday the 28th, we do not give a fuck. Write that down, Andy, because everything seems to be going. But I'll tell you what they do give a fuck about. The FCS playoffs. Yeah, the FCS playoffs started this Saturday in Missoula, Montana, with the Montana Grizzlies knocking off South Eastern Missouri State by the score of 34 to 24. 
And it was a real slow starting game. Um, it really did slow slow start, but it, 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 it picked it up as it went went on. Uh, Grizzlies rolled in the second half. Uh, meanwhile in Columbus. Ah, uh, does my heart good. Hail to the victors, valiant. Hail to the conquering heroes. Hail, hail to Michigan. Yep. Michigan, second year in a row, they waltz into Columbus, put a spanking at them. They put us, they put a beating on Ohio State in Columbus, 45-23. Um, they're like, well, we didn't have our best player. We didn't have Corum, so come on. We, throw, we put up our Heisman running back on the shelf and beat your ass. Um, Ryan Day, and I told you people. I told everybody at the pigskin picks during the preseason picks that Michigan was a better team than they were last year, and they would beat Ohio State again this year because Ohio State wasn't as good. And I was right. I love it when that happens. And, it's, and there's like video evidence. Ohio State fans are calling for the head of Ryan Day uh, this Monday morning. And just I remember, I remember when Jim Harbaugh came to uh, Michigan and then he didn't beat the Ohio State. We were like, I can't hold I'm gonna, We're like pitchforks. Ah, kill Harbaugh. Well, now the Ohio State people are saying, yeah. And it's true. He's got, he's had three games against us. He beat us the very first time. That was with all of Urban Meyer's uh, players. Okay. Uh, once he stuck, he hasn't beat us. We we tuned him for forty five last year too, forty eight last year, and we beat him this year. Beat him. They self destructed. We beat him. Beat him. Beat him. So they're all calling for the head of Ryan Day and blah blah blah. Who cares? Michigan is marching on. We play Purdue on Saturday. Big Ten Championship, I believe it's 8 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock our time, Andy. Fox News, Fox Sports has it. Uh, also Saturday, Clemson, LSU, and Oregon, all in the top ten lost. So kind of as far as I can predict, kind of, kind of cleared the things this last weekend of, of college football. And that is uh, my top four to go to the national championship is Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and University of Southern Cal, the Trojans. Uh, I will figure that Georgia will play USC and Michigan will play TCL. Winners will play together. I think that Michigan... Uh, is waiting for this this game. Uh, the quorum will get healthy. Uh, Edwards is a beast, is a monster. J.J. McCarthy will get the job done. But my picks right now, because now we got conference championships. I don't see anybody losing them. Uh, if everybody that wins out, that's it. Ohio State's not going to get an invite. Alabama's not going to get an invite. Uh, Georgia, Michigan, TCU will be undefeated. USC will be the next Power Five that won their conference championship. So, what? The World Cup. I, I have no idea what the World Cup. I just know that America is in, in a thorn in, in England's side. That's all I know. Okay? But as far as the World Cup and football, I called it soccer to somebody and they were like, <gasps> My God, you called it soccer? So yeah, football is Michigan beating Ohio State's ass on a, in the shoe on a Saturday afternoon. I was correcting it's stuff. So no, Andy, I don't have a clue what's going on with the World Cup at all. I, don't, I, I, I just been watching football. But I will make sure to look it up today. <laughs> all right. We go. All right. Andy says we are high time to get out of here. So remember, spay and neuter, adopt, don't shop, rescue, foster, empty the shelters, Putin
Putin's still out there. He's flapping his jaws. Learn your duck and cover, dear else. Have a great week. Until next Monday, I am out of here. See you later, everybody. <laughs>